Hello, it's Dan Smith here, creator of the JSON module at modularfilemaker.org. Uh, I've noticed some people are having some difficulty using the module, um, extracting data, parsing data, etc. And so I decided to make a series of videos uh, demonstrating how to do that. So uh, it started this morning with this new issue that came in on GitHub, um, asking basically how to create the, the let notation that will create this JSON. Um, so I'm actually going to start by copying this JSON <coughs> and pasting it into the module file because it'll allow me to use the sandbox area here to run some tests on it and figure out how to extract it, what each stage is. Uh, and actually the intention of this video is to extract data from JSON which will tell me what the structure of, it, of that JSON is, is like. Um, so I start by just pasting my JSON in, in here. In, uh, so I'm on the JSON to FM sandbox area. And it gives me uh, my let notation. Now, so this is obviously pretty difficult to read. Um, and what our goal here right now is to try to figure out how to extract each piece of data, like how do I get the array object, or how do I get down to each of these values here. So the first step is to basically start extracting, extracting it one layer at a time. So the first thing I see here is um, dollar sign array equals. So that is, in let notation, that is an, a name value pair. And to extract a name value pair, I use hash get function. Um, and let me say, so this little uh, function here, or this, this calculation here, is just something I've been using in my um, module file to assist in extracting the data. Uh, it seems easier to use this format to me than it does to nest each call. Um, it seems easier to read. And a little bit more info on the sandbox. So the sandbox section, it allows you to paste in some JSON like I did, convert it into let notation, and then run these uh, calculations and see the result. Now, all this evaluated field is doing is evaluating this text. So it's the exact same thing as pasting this um, calculation into the data viewer. So this this format just makes it easier to play with your cal with your calculations and add multiple calculations, etc. So uh, this is referencing my let notation field up here. So now the data variable has that. So I'm going to the first thing I see here is array. So I'm going to get array and that worked so it produced the it gave me a result here so now uh, the first thing I see here is a quotation mark as opposed to before I had array now let's see I'm going to switch over to json.org real quick so in the standard or how, how they how JSON structured is basically with objects arrays and values um, an object is started by a left bracket, and if we jump back to our JSON here, we can see that that's the first object we see. So that we know we know that array is an object. Uh, we can also see here that it's a name value pair and let notation, and we use the hash get function to extract name value pairs. Now, back to JSON.org. So the other structure is arrays, and that's a left angle bracket. Uh, started by a left angle bracket. So if we jump back to our sample file here, we can see that the value of array starts with a left angle bracket. So that means this is an array. And in let notation, or at least my version of let notation here, uh, it that is parsed as a list of quoted values. So each value, each uh, return to limited value will begin and end with a quote 
Uh, so when you see a quote here in let notation, you know that that is going to um, be extracted with the hash list get function. So what I'm going to do here is extract the next layer of it. And actually, even before I extract it, I'm going to show you how you can use the value count uh, function to just get the oops, let me scroll back up to get the count of the list of the values. So now I know I've got two two uh, array values. So now I'm going to extract the first one, which is with the list get function. And I'll extract the first one here. So now the ob the the, va the uh, result of that is on this section there. So now I've got two name value pairs and I'll show you another kind of utility function which is useful for um, doing this sort of parsing and, and discovery that I'm doing now. Is, let's see, I'm looking for get name list. And I must have typed something wrong. Where did I miss? There we go. So, if you if you're working with a big chunk of text, or if you're like I said, if you're discovering stuff, or if you want to loop through all name value pairs in some let notation, this uh, hash get name list function is useful. Uh, it just extracts a, val a return delimited list of the name containing the names of all the name value pairs. So now that I know I've got two name value pairs. I'm going to go ahead and extract, let's see, I will extract object. And that should give me the value of object, which up here we can see the value of the first array object is foo. And just to be complete here, I'll also extract value. So we've got now I've got foo and bar. So I just showed you how to drill down through all the layers of uh, this JSON to get to kind of the, the lowest level of data here, which is foo and bar. And if you want this second um, array value, then all you have to do is change this list get second. And now we're seeing these values here. So one of the first ones, I'm going to change it back there. So that's that's pretty much uh, what it takes to uh, parse, extract data from JSON. Um, start with the JSON, convert it to let notation, and then you drill down. Now if you were to, let's say, loop through this entire array, and this array, let's just say, had 100 values in it, you wouldn't want to get each lowest level object through a calculation like this. I would recommend saving uh, the output of each of these functions to a variable so that they're called once. And then at this lowest level, it's only extracting data from, let's see, let's get, so if we come back up here, so if, if we save the, the result of this function here, or of this calculation here, it's only returning those values. So if you save this data to a variable, when you call get uh, from data object, it's only extracting you know, the, the smallest uh, amount of data as opposed to extracting this 100 value array. So uh, that showed you um, the intention of this video, is, which was to extract data from JSON, I'll post some follow-up videos showing you how to um, go back and create this let notation so that you can create the JSON.